Hello, this is Kellen with WVOK News, coming live from the Tasmanian jungle, bringing your animal of the week. This week, we will learn about the thylacine. The thylacine is more commonly known as the Tasmanian tiger and was native to mainland Australia and the Australian state of Tasmania. According to OneKindPlanet.org, the Tasmanian tiger was extinct in 1936 and was the largest carnivorous marsupial in modern times. That means they ate meat and had a pouch for their babies. The Tasmanian tiger looks a lot like a fox, but with less hair and has stripes on their back. According to USA Today, in 2019, Australian officials say they have received reports of Tasmanian tigers, but no clear videos or pictures have been captured. Closest known relative to a Tasmanian tiger is the Tasmanian devil. Hi, I'm Annika bringing you what's cool in our school. Today I'm highlighting the kindergartners' virtual field trip in January. They got to see the Alaska Sea Life Center. The Alaska Sea Life Center generates and shares scientific knowledge to promote understanding and stewardship of Alaska's marine ecosystems. The center is located right on the ocean in Seaward, Alaska, and welcomes visitors to learn about Alaska's amazing animals up close. The center also helps injured animals and, if possible, returns them to the ocean when they are healed. They learned about the stellar sea lion, spotted seals, tufted puffins, moon jellies, sea anemones, sea stars, giant Pacific octopus, and crabs. Here's the kindergartner's thoughts about it. I like to learn about the moon jellyfish. The puffin. You like the puffin? What was cool about the puffin? That they can dive underwater. I like the hermit crabs because they crawl. We are celebrating Black History Month with the book talk. Hidden Figures, the true story of four black women and the space race was written by Margot Lee Shetterly and illustrated by Laura Freeman. In this true story, Catherine, Dorothy, Mary, and Christine were all good at math, really good. And it was their understanding of numbers that helped them do what seemed impossible. They were women and they were African-American and they lived during a time when being black and a woman limited what they could do. But Catherine, Dorothy, Mary, and Christine were hardworking and persistent, and most important, smart. And that's why NASA hired them to do the math that would one day send the United States into space for the very first time. In this story, the author, Margot, and the illustrator, Laura, bring to life the inspiring story of the struggles of these four hidden figures and what they overcame to succeed. The math work they did would change not only their own lives, but the face of air and space travel forever. You can find this book in our library. Check it out. experiment you will need a cup full of water, a paper plate, make sure that the paper plate is balanced, and you get a toilet paper roll, set it on there. Make sure that it is balanced, and then get it an egg. Make sure that it's a raw egg and not a hard boiled egg. Then set it sideways on here, like that. And then I'm going to hit the paper plate and let's see what happens. Ready, set, go. Before you do this experiment, make sure that a guardian or parent is there to supervise it. And also ask them before you do it, since this could get a little messy. <laughs> Hope you all have an awesome week. This week is Spirit Week. Show your Weaver Lake spirit pride by wearing crazy hair or a hat 
on Tuesday, February 9th. On Wednesday, wear a certain color according to your grade. On Thursday, it's look-alike or twin day. On Friday, it's pajama day, cloud nine. Have fun. Hello, this is Kellen with WVLK News bringing you the joke of the week. What do you call a dinosaur when it's asleep? A dino snore.